having Ray Bradbury here was incredible because in particular for Mars, he really has been one of the voices from very, very early on for going to Mars and exploring Mars long before we knew how to do it. He was taking Hi, us buddy. there in our minds. Let me introduce you to some of the other people who drive the rover with me. Yes, sir. So our rovers uh, look just like this. When he came to the operations room and we showed him the, the model of the rover and the, the large-scale panoramic pictures that we've taken, the actual photographs of the surface of the planet. It was like watching him experience it as, as a child almost would experience it, just the wonderment. He has never lost that wonder for Mars that he's, he's always conveyed in his books. There you go. You're getting the hang of it already. We're going to have to hire you. Showing him how we control the rover and using the simulator and letting him basically drive the simulated rover across the surface of the planet and letting him see the reality of that um, was very rewarding for us because we could tell how, how much it meant to him to see th this that once that was only fiction, that partly because of his vision and his b sharing that vision with us, that it's now become a reality and that we're actually there. Thank you.